All right, welcome to another virtual chainmail tutorial here. We've done all of these. You can find them on YouTube or TikTok. Go, go look up your address. It. Uh, there's going to be two versions of this tutorial. One for YouTube, one for TikTok. The YouTube one will obviously be longer. Uh, this is going to be the YouTube. Today, we are doing Japanese. Now, there's, of course, multiple types of Japanese. What you see before you is Japanese 8 and 2. It's called that because there is 8 rings attached to every 2. Well, center rings at least. These don't have 8. But you can have them have 8. Anyway, moving on. We're going to do Japanese 4 and 1. Same exact thing. Just easier for beginners. <laughs> uh, anyway. <laughs> As always, we are going to need a ring. Go ahead and uh, change this color here. Blue. I did not want to do text. Get off my screen. Really? That's my fault. Wrong palette. Mm, dark. Darker. Good enough. All right. So Japanese four and one is arguably the easiest pattern there is. So if you're looking to start, you're not sure where. This is a good beginner. Oh, I'm tired. All right, first step you're going to need. Rings. Rings. <laughs> Get yourself a center ring. Bam. Take your next ring. Attach it on the side. And another ring. Attach it on the side. And another ring. Attach it on the side. And another ring. Attach it on top. <laughs> now, of course, when you do this, They're all just going to look like that. So take your time and straighten them out. Once you've done that, you're going to repeat the process. Put one on that one. 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 Very easy. Still with me? Each of your side rings here. Oh, I'm at the edge of my barrier. Bam. 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 Doo, 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 doo. And down we go. Really need to get some physics on this thing. Alright, still with me? Connect them. That is all there is to it. That is all there is to it. Shrink this down. Make it a little bit more manageable. Make ourselves bigger. And get a ring in. All right, so once you get here, I'm just gonna keep going. See how we did that? <laughs> Spacing's a little off there. <laughs> and you just keep going infinitely. Now, if you want to get real tricky with it, you can branch off of each of these middle rings, and then you can truly make it a four in one. I think that's all of them. Yeah, that's all of them. Okay. Gonna go down. And connect them. Spacing's off just a little bit again. Blame that ring. 
This is why we need physics. Ooh, more yawning. Obviously, when you're working with real rings, gravity will be your physics. Yoink, yoink, yoink. I missed some rings right there in the middle, but you get the idea. Everywhere you see that you can possibly connect, you just keep on going. Do it enough times and you get yourself a square, or a cube, or a shirt, or a sheet. Whatever. Stepping stones, for those of you who are interested, we did that tutorial already. Not a fan. Helm's weave, a million and one uses. I'm currently building a hoodie out of this pattern. That is a tri-ring. A closer look. All those tutorials are up. There's your basic four and one. The first pattern I ever learned years ago. Box chain, we just made a bracelet out of that the other day. Has its uses, but I'm not a fan. Byzantine, my all-time favorite. I have a belt made out of this. Four strands, just like that. Man, what we got in here? Ooh, Rondo. Rondo is an advanced tutorial. We're not going to get to that yet. That is not complete Rondo either, so I don't think it is. Although I did some makes some of that the 